Okay, so now we're going to complete um, lab 35, which is using a continuation of lab 3-4's document. And this time we're looking to answer the question, did customers who charge their purchases to a dealer's credit card spend more on each transaction during the time period of September 1st, 2016 to September 15th, 2016? Um, so in order to do so, we're going to do it on this table we've already created. And I'm just going to add a column that is titled Diller Dummy, kind of similar to last time. Um, actually, it's supposed to be four things. So, okay. and luckily, since it's already in the table format, it's already going to just create a column in the table. And then we're going to include a if statement to tell us whether it was charged to a credit card or not. So um, one second while I put in my formula and I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay, so you'll see that my um, formula is here and it's just saying like, if the tender type equals the dealer's credit card, then it will give me a one if the value is true and a zero if the value is false. So now I'm gonna enter and there says that there's a syntax error. So uh, let me fix that real quick and we'll be right back. Hang tight. All right, so I have added the extra um, bracket there that needed to be there. I'm gonna hit enter and it's gonna take a minute. And now it has given me my results. Remember one is if it's true. Therefore, we know that this transaction was paid at the credit card as well as this one. Uh, anything with a zero means false. So now we can continue. Okay, so now we're with this information, we're actually going to go ahead and um, create a regression analysis using the data analysis tool pack. If you don't have it, you can go to file, options, add ins, and make sure that your analysis is in. Okay, uh, so data analysis, regression, are down here, right here. And your Y input range is going to be the transaction amount, the column for transaction amount. So let me say here, maybe highlight a couple and then oh, control shift all the way down. And for the Y, we're going to include, uh, scroll all the way back up. And we're going to include the Arkansas dummy, online dummy, and the DO, sorry, DLRD dummy um, as the X variable. So I'm just going to go straight across, somewhat down, control shift all the way down. And once again, we're going to have a 95% confidence level, and we do want it on a new worksheet. So just hit OK. And here we have it. So now I'm just gonna hit shift, double click, and it opens it up a little to have um, right here. Well, anyways, our information is there. Um, yep, I'm gonna pause it now. One second. Just for visualization purposes, I have renamed the x, the three x variables to match each of them. So the first one would be the Arkansas dummy, second one online dummy, and the third one the DLRD dummy. Okay, so now with this information, we can um, kind of see the significance of each one of each category. Um, so. Um, I'm going to format these cells to where the number gives me more decimals. Um, because we want a 95% uh, confidence rate, uh, then the p-value, anything with a p-value below 0.05% means it's significant. Um, which, since these are all below 0.05, uh, then these values are significant. Therefore, um, you know, $1.00. And 27 cents. Um, they're spending more in Arkansas, 
um, on, for online orders, they're spending $12.11 more. And um, here, since it's negative, we're seeing that those who charge their transactions to a dealer's credit card are actually spending $2, about $2.01 less than those who are charging to another form of payment, um, which that answers the other question that we were first seeking to identify with this case.